public adding the Nissan Renault 1.6 Digi-T throttle body. Um, this is the offending item here, as you can see. Um, Nissan wanted £1,270, the local dealership for this part, and they said it was on back order and would take around three to four weeks to obtain. Um, it's a really expensive component, obviously you don't want to jump in paying this and that, it is only available from this and locally where I'm at in Teesside or at least if you want it locally as I say. Um, I did a diagnosis on this vehicle and initially pointed towards this. I did advise the customer to get it thoroughly checked by an auto electrician to ensure was Looking around and I spotted the shaved wire out, which is this white one what been shaving against the radiator. I haven't checked it, it's got voltage present. I believe that's going to be my wire to the throttle position sensor and it's basically just hanging on. I've got a picture there which I'll include in a video of the green crusties that are present. There's no issues between the wiring. I did not know if I don't know if you can see let's see I'll see if I can zoom right in on that. I'll switch a light on for you is the corrosion you can see the slight green corrosion around there for the pin there the second from the end and when i look again and you can see this pin here which is the fourth pin in see that there um so you can see that corrosion on there it's present and i believe that, that corrosion is going to be inhibiting going inwards towards the sensors the codes that this actual part presented was a p0222 that's a P0222 and a P2135 on the initial diagnosis call. I went through it and tested different things on the car and there was lots of different things that were tested. The car presented is just a car that wouldn't revel past 1200 RPM, it just stalled altogether. There is information relating obviously that it could be towards the accelerator pedal position sensor. Um, everything pointed back towards this. I did obviously do the old unpluggy tests on the actual connector on there when the car was plugged in it made absolutely no outcome towards the way the vehicle ran. Um, it did confirm though that the part that I unplugged was definitely relating to the P0222 codes It then changed to a P0223 on the throttle position sensor 1 bank 1 um, which definitely told us that we were on the right part and it's contained within this. What I'm actually going to do is dissect this part and see if we can see that prevalent corrosion that's on them pins coming back inside of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you for a moment. I'm just going to undo these clips here on there um, by simply just prising them away. I don't think it's necessary for you to watch it. I mean you just need to get up and under them um, and then prise them off of there. So there's one, two, three, four, five and six of them to do. So I'm going to pause you and then what I'll do is I'll probably pause you to see the last one. Thanks. So I've just unclipped these clips here, um, all six of them. I didn't keep it on for the last one because it was quite brittle. I didn't want you to witness one end up flying off so I'm filming it. I can guarantee it'll end up flying off and doing something awkward. But all six of them, or well, four of them are off a few metres away. Use your eye protection if you're ever going to do something like that. That's one thing I'll tell you. Um, and what we're going to do is this here just needs kind of wrestling apart, I believe. We'll have a look. We'll just see how she comes apart. She just lifts off there. I haven't opened this up yet, so we can see there's a seal there, first of all. Let's have a look and see what's going on. So, if we can see, obviously this wetness here has made its way past, in and past that there on a previous occasion we can see that for certain hmm. and if you, we can see the exact point of failure right there on the mother chip board so if you can see that I'm going to absolutely bring you in so you can see that point of failure there so if we zoom in Can you see that there? And that's our point. Failure yeah, exactly there. 
So that'll be why it's constantly presenting the P0222 code within this vehicle, or it did do within the vehicle. Um, see the circuit board is completely covered in that corrosion layer around that mother chip. Um, both of them, sorry, top and the bottom one, both suffering with the same issue. Both in and around the chip, it's quite odd because obviously they don't come in. Um, if we look towards our correlation with our pins, do they correlate? Hmm, most likely so, I would suggest so. They come in, you can see the correlation between that and that. Um, so this here is actually the part that's causing the failure within the throttle. And this part here is functioning perfectly fine. Um, yeah, it's just a little motor, 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 motor. Not a lot of complexity to it, really. If you think of it, you can see the two poles here that control the throttle here, um, and there you're corresponding towards lap pin and lap pin there directly. Um, this obviously needs to go straight over. The sealer would probably say is probably the actual point of failure because the sealer obviously isn't doing that good a job of protecting it from corrosion in the long run. So if we peel the seal off, we can see probably more so in and around this area here. That's where it seems to be most prominent, where it's allowed water and stuff to get in in the past. Um, I will say you can see bits of coolant in and around on top of it, that's off where I had to remove it and stuff. I wasn't overly concerned about getting a little bit of coolant just on it as I was taking it out. There's several coolant lines which are attached just above this, um, which just had drips of coolant in. I wouldn't probably say it was as prominent to that there. It was prior to a coolant change that I was actually called out. Sorry, prior to obviously needing the coolant that I was called out to do this so it's obviously that the gasket's failing in there it's allowing something in whether it be coolant I know the customer recently had some work done by Nissan regarding their EGR issue um, whether it's possible maybe that they'd spilled coolant over the top of it at that time and it was left to stand maybe I don't know um, yeah, that's the cause of failure on your Nissan throttle body. I did manage to get the part from a place called Dealer Parts in South Korea for 1,000 Great British Pounds cheaper. That's the part number there listed. I'll see if we can include a link for their part so I can include it. But yeah, that's how it's failed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and get in touch. And don't forget to like the video and leave a comment as well if you think it's out. We can do better or if you liked it. Thank you. Sorry, that wasn't the end of the video. So, theorised it there once we stopped recording. So, this is a water-cooled throttle body. Water comes in and out of these two parts here. That cools our motor. But if we look here, we can actually see long-term where we've had cooling coming through around here. So, what I believe actually happened is, is the seal on the water cooling around this motor here has actually failed and that's allowed coolant to make its way in towards our circuit board allowing the corrosion of these two main motherboard chips right here so yeah that was my prognosis as to what's caused it I'm going to suggest that this is probably going to happen to quite a lot of Nissans um, so if my video helps at all don't forget to leave a comment thank you for watching have a good day Thank <laughs> you.